the moment, an electric double-decker burns on Wimbledon High Street. The fire brigade struggled to put the flames out. The fire was very aggressive. So every time they tried to put the flames out, they came back straight away. And at intervals, they were standing with a uh, thermal gun, a heat gun, checking the temperature of the battery and coming back and saying, no, we need to keep going, and then continue to spray the battery for quite some time. The amount of water that was used was absolutely astronomical. Uh, well, I came in the back and um, could see all the kind of fire brigade and things from the front that didn't know what was going on. And as soon as we walked through the back, I could see all the smoke and it was quite, you know, sitting in here choking uh, and coughing. Uh, it was, yeah, really, really bad. The following day, a hybrid bus, which uses both battery and diesel power, was also destroyed by fire. Transport for London say the two fires are unrelated, but the 200 was a purely electric bus that ran through here in Wimbledon, and that's been completely withdrawn from service whilst they work with a manufacturer to understand the root cause of the fire. The bus on Route 200 is built by manufacturer Switch Mobility. The company say the Metro Decker model is an award-winning bus with the latest battery technology. Go ahead London, use it in the capital. Declining to be interviewed on camera today, the company issued a statement saying we have withdrawn the vehicle type in question and are working with the relevant authorities to establish the facts. TfL say the two incidents aren't linked in any way, adding that they and the bus operators will not hesitate to take action to ensure the bus network remains safe. No one was hurt in either blaze, but both fires remain under investigation.